Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have something really pretty to show you guys. I'm so excited. So this is um, my design team project for Sylvia at Las Numas Amores. Um, so this is what I've made for my August journal and I'm just so thrilled with how it turned out. Um, let's see, I used three of her new kits. So you're gonna wanna go check those out. Um, one is called, and I hope I pronounce everything correctly, but for our roses. So um, it, it's lots of French um, on the pages. They're so beautiful. I've done some stitching and added the lace and things. Um, and then a faded August is the name of one of the other kits. And then my favorite this month were these um, shabby chic envelopes and writing paper. Um, I just think they look, um, the shape of them are very vintagey, and I've added all kinds of little embellishments and lace to them um, and tucked them all throughout this journal. I had so much fun making journal cards. This one I sewed in as a signature um, and added some of the writing paper. These little girls are so beautiful, and I had a lot of fun um, really making this one nice and frilly and um, just really happy with how it turned out. Um, lots of different types of pockets and tuck spots, and the papers are just so beautiful and fun to work with. So um, I'm trying to think. This one, oh, let me tell you about the cover um, while I'm flipping through. So I had a, or this is a vintage, from 1947 geometry book. And in some of my other videos, I've been telling you guys, oh yeah, I had a, a geometry book and I'm using some of the book pages. And um, in fact, here, here are some that are still, that are still left that came out of this little journal. And then I, and I wanted to use the papers, you know, I, I liked having the numbers and um, the equations and things. I just thought it looked really interesting. And so, Oh, I'll use some vintage buttons. Isn't that pretty? So anyway, and then I started looking at the cover, and I was like, you know what? Um, I think this will make a fabulous cover um, for a journal using these pages. Um, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be something, I think, so pretty and delicate when you look at the outside, but it... Um, I don't know, it has a nice feel. It's definitely old. I did do an exposed spine, but you don't really, the, the thread that I chose, it kind of um, blends in. It's a little chunky, it just has two signatures, but I'm really happy with this uh, cover. It's like the old canvas, and then I did layer some pages, and this is actually from um, a different kit on Sylvia's, from Sylvia's Etsy shop. So I'll have to remember the name of that one. But I just thought those little girls were so sweet that I used some of those papers too. So anyway, fun, fun project. Sylvia, thank you so much for having me on your design team. I always have a great time using your papers. And um, it kind of stretches me a little bit out of my comfort zone. So um, I like that a lot and they're beautiful. So I hope you guys like this one too. And um, you will... Let me know. Leave me a comment. And tell me what you think. So have a great day, everybody.